absolutely annoying, but like you guys have talked, I have said in this segment, it, it, you know, what good is going to come of it if you, if you go and say anything? Absolutely nothing. Uh -oh. Therefore, just. And then, hey, real quick before you hang up on uh, uh, cigarettes, my pet peeve number one is people who don't repair their ball marks on the green. Ooh, good one. Golf. Oh, you always got to check the balls. Thanks, Barry. Or, or the people come on. that play so damn slow and don't let you pass them. That, oh, that is the worst. I'm not much of a golfer, but what I do, I pick up some dirt, there's uh, some grass. Not at all. Yeah, I got no, my iPad. You can do that. Going back That's to like, right. the grocery okay. store parking lots no problem. or other parking lots. Yeah. First of all, um, I'm never yep. going to bitch about how many handicapped spots there are. It seems like some places have a lot more than others. What I am going to start to bitch about, I think, is when they have all those empty spots lined up for people to get to go things. Like even at the Kroger's, they have like all these spots reserved for people picking up. Get yeah, yeah. tonight. No, they, they have too many of them. I agree. For anyone in them. Oh, 100%. Yeah. They should take those away. Take like, them away. You see, they were for the pandemic, right? Yeah. And I totally get that. But you're right. I mean, the people that are actually going into the store have to park further back. Right. I'm it's, totally with you there. I know, but they're doing it to help the workers, too, at the store who are bringing the stuff out. But go two spots further or whatever. They're never always filled up. See, you know what I like about this topic? I need to be in charge of it. I like that we have full phone lines on this topic, and everybody is as petty as I am. Yeah, everybody, everybody's got something. Everybody's got something oh. that they're just as petty as I am. Okay, but you haven't acted on your pettiness, so I don't think it's I quite don't really think I'm public. No, but I, nor do I think you should. You can be privately petty without being publicly petty. I'm right? kind of making it publicly petty, but nobody knows what I'm talking about. I'll tell you mine, and I know, I'll call it out right here and right now. If the city of Farmington Hills is listening and everybody has these things, the stupid freaking traffic lights that are go through the normal, like, long cycle and I'll say it, Oakland Community College, the one, uh, the, the satellite of oh, like 12 in Middle Valley. Farmington Road. Oh, you gotcha, that 12 in Farmington. And 11 in Farmington, 12 in Farmington. That turns red, follows through Saturdays, Sundays when school's not in session, all the time. No cars ever come out from there. You come down Farmington Road, Bogey's oh, almost home. Yeah, oh no, it's turning yellow. It is not, it's not 20 seconds. It's not 30 seconds. It's like a minute in a half. But I think you can go through this. I no! Mean, the, the, cop, the cop's always there because the police station is right in tandem. No. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when I, when I, uh, every now and then you got to fill in for the morning show. So I got to wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. And there's always a red light that I turn. You know, turn around. You turn. No, it's illegal to turn on that red light, but I do it at 4.30 oh, no, or 5. That's different. I agree. I do that. But this, you have to go through straight. And the right-hand side is just this little... Park, like Woodland Park. There's never any cars in there. And the other thing is the OCC campus. And there's never any, and it goes through the cycle every day, all the way through the night and on the weekend. Work on that. You ever think about maybe writing a letter? I thought about it. And you know what else? Downtown Detroit. None of the lights are synced up. If you get stopped at one light. I noticed that too, actually. Not even close. You leave a Wings game or a Pistons game. And if you hit that. Oh, well, I'm going to hit that one. going to hit that one. going to hit that one. All right. We're going to get back to bitching here. Now we're all fired up. On the Will Jordan Rieger Show. On 97.1. Attack it. <laughs> At Fisher Investments, our clients know we have their backs. How do your clients know that? Because Fisher Investments is a fiduciary, the highest standard for a financial advisor. It means we're there for our clients and always put their interests first. So wait, you do it because you have to? No, we do it because it's the right thing to do. Our clients trust us with our retirement savings, and we know how important that responsibility is. So we take the time to really get to know them. Get to know them how? We make sure we understand their unique goals, finances, health, family, and lifestyle, so we can tailor their portfolio to their specific needs. Our goal is to help them achieve a comfortable retirement. Sounds like a big responsibility. You must make big commissions then, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We have one single transparent fee that's structured so we do better when our clients do better. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you are switching to us. Fisher Investments. 
clearly different money management. Investing in securities involves the risk of loss. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity during tax season because so much sensitive info was all together. Before we start the annual meeting of Sean's personal info, uh, has anyone seen social security number? Not me. Nope. Nah. -uh. Oh no. He's been stolen. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, we'll work to fix it. No one can monitor all transactions, but you can save up to 25% off your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Identity theft protection starts here. We're out of the brand name, but we do have a generic version. Serene's Pharmacy can't keep up with allergy season. Who's next in line? They need certified technicians to alleviate the headache. Ma'am, I'm so sorry for the wait. We'll have your prescription called soon. I need some help. Indeed can help them hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Instant Match instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your sponsored job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. My leg was painful, red, and swollen just doing the crossword puzzle. I could have put off telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. He told his doctor and found out his leg pain, swelling, and redness are deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot which could travel to the lungs and lead to a pulmonary embolism, which could cause chest pain or discomfort or difficulty breathing and be deadly. If you have one or more of these symptoms, this is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. In zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone, America's number one brakes destination. Right now, save 15% when you get any two Duralast rotors with a set of Duralast brake pads. It's also AutoZone's national hiring event. We're hiring all positions, from sales to warehouse and drivers, both part-time and full-time. Visit careers.autozone.com or at any one of our stores. Claim based on data from the NPD Group 2021. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. Subscription requires the website for full details and important safety information. Dealing with ED is difficult enough, but the pressure of not satisfying your partner makes it even worse. ED can be tough on a relationship, but at HIMSS, you can contact a medical provider online and, if appropriate, get the prescription medication that treats ED at affordable prices. HIMSS ED medication has the same active ingredients as Viagra, but because it's generic, you pay 90% less. That's right, 90% less. A whole month's supply is just $30, and it's sent right to your home for free in discreet packaging. HIMSS offers the same medication you'd get from your doctor, but without the copay, expensive appointments, or awkward face-to-face -face conversations. And with HIMSS, every online visit is free, and your relationship right back on track. For a free online consultation, go to 4 slash joy. That's 4 slash joy for your free visit. F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Navian tankless water heaters, the proven leader in condensing technology. Request a Navian because you deserve the best in endless hot water delivery. Learn about Navian's condensing tankless water heaters and find a Navian contractor at tanklessmadesimple.com. 97 won the ticket, but like to remind you that when you text the ticket, standard text messaging rates apply. It's okay to park in the handicap spot. It's just an example how gone the morality is in this country. I mean, I wouldn't make it that sweeping of a statement, but a little bit. A little bit. Uh, Wojder, there's no S at the end of Meyer nor Kroger. I don't know. Yeah, I always go to Kroger's. Sometimes I go to Meyer's. Or Comerica's. Comerica's Park, yeah. Meyer's. Um, Pete and Waterford. Jeff, you have a legitimate bitch. Don't listen to the idiot that said, oh, Rieger, really, just let it go. Your time is just as precious as his. Well, let's be honest. All of our times are equally as precious. No, However, not your. there's a great chance he has a more important job than me. That he does more for society than I do. That he's just a better citizen than I am. 
So he's got all that going for him. Let's be honest. I'm not a hard guy to top. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for agreeing. Um, God forbid you stick up for me. Well, I think he probably has a more important job than you. Everyone has a more important job right. than yeah. us. You're a piece of crap. I get it. <laughs> Let's go to the phones and talk to Josh. You're on 97. What the ticket? Hello there, Joshua. Hey, Josh. Uh, Josh, you know, Josh, are you there? And he was talking about uh, there's a YouTube. I'm here. Oh, oh, here. oh, oh look at that. Hey, Brandon uh, Dupas. Hey, you guys were talking about creating a show and following people around and, and calling them out for their annoyances. Have you ever heard of Art on no. you? Oh, no. I, uh, I highly suggest it. It's very entertaining. And uh, just as the name says, uh, this guy follows around people in the parking lot and calls them out for not returning the cart and the reactions are priceless. Oh, my God. What a great oh. idea. Why didn't... It's a YouTube yeah. channel or something? Yeah, yeah. YouTube channel. Just look up Art Narcs. Art Narcs. You'll love it. That sounds like like a million dollar idea. I like that idea. Oh. Oh. Do people yeah. get really, like, angry and, and confront oh, them? Absolutely. They should. They're in the wrong. You should return your damn cart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, nobody, nobody likes getting called out, and when they know the video is going up on YouTube, they get even more upset. It's great. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to look that up. Thanks, Josh. By the way, somebody is pointing out at... Um uh, ticket text. I work at Bushes, and it's the worst when people don't put the cards back because they have to go around and look for them. Because you're right, people can run into a card in the dark if it's not put back in the card. And you're somebody fine. pointed out, no, we're, just, we're just trying to save you from an embarrassing confrontation, which you don't, we don't think is going to take place. But did you consider the fact that maybe the kid that he's picking up has difficulties? I did. I did. Oh. And I've seen some things to think, make me think otherwise. So you've seen a perfectly healthy kid come skipping out? I'm no doubt. I'm not a pediatrician. But, maybe. <laughs> All I'm saying is I would not bring this to the air if my investigation over the span of 15 to 20 days has not led me to wonder if this man needs to be parking in the handicapped spot. That's all. When you do raise a good point, you yeah, raise a good point. You have to consider all possibilities. The are really going unused. Thankful. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, right. I guess if this guy thinks he's better than everybody else, he can well, use them, even though he doesn't have the sticker. People accusing you of being petty? Where does this rank on the petty scale? Ticket text. I was at Sam's Club last Saturday and watched a kid, about 18 years old, throw one of the empty sample cups on the ground from a cart they were pushing into the store. Said something, and the kid's dad came over and picked it up. Said it was just a cup. I said, doesn't matter. There is trash can right by the store. We can be better, people. Oh, my goodness. Good for that guy to say something. But and the dad the came dad. over and picked up for the son. Yeah, the son should pick it up. Absolutely. Oh, that, that's disgusting, people. We can't litter. But, where, where is it okay to litter? Let me ask you. No, no, no. Seriously. The littering thing is so gross. It, it is, but there are certain things that are okay. Like, for instance, you get a piece of toast, you leave it out for the birds. Well, I suppose, right? yes. Right? Right? Who, uh, you get a piece of gum? Do you ever look you at what is on the side of freeways? Yeah, no, I agree. Those like mattresses and, and dressers and... And cups and bags. But you and know what people are going to say? Same thing for the cards. Come on, dude. If the teenagers shop, if all that litter wasn't on the side of the road, uh, then nobody doing community service would have anything to pick up. What, no, okay, I agree. Community service is a great. Then why aren't they ever out there? Did, did, nobody gets convicted of con, to do community service it's anymore? It's snowing lately. Uh, you know, the weather's been rough. I'm not a namby pamby, but the litter thing is, littering thing is. You know what also gets me? my bunch. Yes. And I've had a long, huge issue with this. Mm. Coupon people. The people in front of you at the grocery store that feel the need to get the monies off of their coupons, which is fine. What's wrong with but that? Don't make me wait. Well, you know what? I'm buying this Nestle Quick. I got a coupon for that. I'm buying this milk. I got a coupon for that. It takes three times the length than it should because you get some woman or guy pulling coupons out of their folder and now they're electronic but it still takes as long okay there should be maybe a line that says just for coupon people i don't want to be in back of a coupon person or a lotto guy lotto oh, guy is awful too lotto guy 
Like if you go to like a liquor store, I mean, not that I ever do, or a gas station, and a lot of guy is in line. And some of them are very nice. I've seen people step as, oh, I'm going to be a few minutes, so go ahead and you go. And they Most are not, though. They no. want to get their numbers. You know, I got this one for uh, Selma's yeah. birthday, and I got this one for Freddie's anniversary, and, uh, you know, this one's my bowling high score. I don't like the lotto people because they think they should be there in front of you when you're just trying to buy a pop. Yeah. Let's uh, go talk to our buddy in Shelby Township. I think he's back to like you mean more than you. I'm not sure. Paul, you're on 97 with the ticket. Hello there, Paulie. Hello there, Jeffrey. Hello there, Bob. How he, are you? He both? said my name first. Tremendous. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to give you some advice. I'm going to take you to church, Jeffrey. Um, anyway, you stole my thunder with lottery ticket guy. Man, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm sorry. And, oh. and usually waiting and waiting and waiting behind that son of a bear. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate that guy. Um, anyway, got behind the litter today for about a mile in oh. a Mercedes. And I got to the light and I wanted to give him a family look and she was beautiful so I just smiled. But anyway, um <laughs> What was she um, what was anyway, she throwing out the window? Like what what did people she must have been eating a pack of gum. It was like every ten seconds these white wrappers just came flying out the window for like two miles. I don't believe it. What do we think about the people that tossed the cigs out the window? They tossed their cigarettes out of the biodegradable. They'll go away in oh, okay. about five years. Yeah, well, Paul, sure. you bring up a good point. Can, should hot chicks be allowed to litter but nobody else? Uh, I didn't get a chance to get a number and ask, but uh, next time I see her, I will. Okay. Um, anyway, um, by the way, honey, I didn't say that. That was a ventriloquist <laughs> at the station. Um, okay, Jeffrey, I'm going to take you to church and solve your problem. Now, I realize you're a staunch father in your 40s. I see your tweets. Olive is absolutely adorable. Well, thank you. Thank Don't you take anybody's crap about taking her to games or anything like that because these horrible horrible married men without children that you work with down there have no clue what it's like to be a father Holy, so, that's right that's right Paul. i got your back <laughs> now i got six kids and i've got three grandchildren so let me tell you how the school parking lot works okay yes handicap parking guy You've already done a total reconnaissance mission on this man, mm -hmm. and you are fairly confident that there are no issues physically with this person, nor are there physical issues with the child in question that he picks up on a daily basis, correct? Correct, so far. Correct. correct. He's done the reconnaissance. All right, Jeff, here's what you do. Every school has the mom or the group of moms who are the morality police, okay? Mm, yeah. These moms are the ones that are at the school pageant, standing up in front row, filming all the events. Yep. They are the ones that are at all the meetings, vocalizing their dislike of certain things. They are the ones usually grouped, showing off their report cards and their accolades of their children. Simply seek this group out, Jeffrey. And casually mention, you know, that this Sick one guy over it. here, I can yes. see it's like, I, I, he parks in this spot. I, I'm, I Polly? feel really terrible, but you know, and, and oh. you sit back and watch the show. Genius. They will go at this guy. Well, genius. Here's the genius. problem, though. I like the idea. Thanks for the call, Paul. But what is the, uh, what is the old saying? What? No. To say he's brilliant on the stitches get stitches. No, no, but if you sick a Karen on them, Karens love that job. They will take care That's of it. That's a good point. They're probably they're like a salesperson at a yes. car lot. They're like, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Wait, wait, I heard you talking about somebody in the attic. What you want to happen? Well, well that, that is despicable. Who is he? Point him out. I will go yell at him right now. Do you know who the Karens are at your school? I, I, no, not really. They all seem like nice young ladies. Okay, find yes. a Karen, and that that's what they do. Sick them on them. I, I don't want to be that person. I just, listen, I am just um, gutless enough to bring it to the radio. I really am not expecting to do anything more. By the way, Paul said the the um, woman driving in front of her yeah. was throwing uh, like white, white, wrappers. white wrappers out the window. Um, by the way, Paul is lying because there are no white wrappers.